So it's like tiled bricks. I don't know. Never come across this before. But the old boiler was on solid. So new boiler should should go on nice as well. I hope. <laughs> I don't want it falling down. I did bring extra long screws to see if I could get through it, but I don't think, well, I haven't got anything that's going to be long enough to go all the way through. Welcome back to the video. Welcome back to the channel even. Welcome back to the video. I mean, you haven't seen the video yet, so I'm welcoming you back to something you haven't seen. I'm waffling on, so uh, let's not make this intro too long. It's been an eventful week, first and foremost. I'm going to say it again, I picked up my Z on Monday. I'm absolutely over the moon. Can't believe I managed to get the car back that I sold to the previous owner just almost three years ago. Then I had a wicked day on Wednesday, and I got the opportunity to take the Z on a nice long drive. Because I had a photo shoot with Regatta up in Wilmslow, which is about four hours away from me. It was a long old drive, but it was a nice day, uh, enjoyable day. Met up with a few other tradies who are also sponsored by Regatta as well, which is always good. And here we are. This weekend is coming to an end already. I mean, I'm recording this on a Saturday. We were meant to be taking the kids to Whipsnade Zoo today, but the weather's been a bit rubbish. It's just been wet and windy. So the plan is to now take them on Sunday today, which is when you guys are watching this. So hopefully I'm back now from the zoo at the time that this is going live. I'm taking the comments on board from you guys about when it comes to installation videos, which is what this is. Trying to make it a little bit more interesting, not just the before and after. So let me know what your thoughts are, if this is the style of content you enjoy. I've got a lot more stuff coming up. And as we get into silly season, hopefully breakdowns will pick up and things will get a little bit more interesting. I enjoy the breakdown side of things more than installs as well, personally. So I don't know what you guys feel about that, what you guys' thoughts are. I know there's people who enjoy installs and there's people who enjoy the breakdown side of things. And I'm the latter. Anyway, enough waffling on. Let's get on with the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching. Welcome to today's job. It is the 29th of July. Currently, as it stands, the hottest day of the year so far we finally have summer and i've drawn the short straw you know why because i'm doing a boiler swap up in the loft yeah let's see how long it takes before oh drop test is done i'll go and check that in a minute let's see how long it takes before this t-shirt comes off because we popped our head up there and it's already warm unloaded the power flush machine i'm getting that heated up ready to go and now i'm just going to unload a few more bits from the van and then Get the boiler off the wall. It's an Ecotech Plus coming out and we're putting in an ECA combi. Let's go inside, have a look and crack on. All right, here we go. It's uh, gonna be what, 28, 29 degrees today? And yeah, it's very hot up in here. Oh, right, I've got a bit of light. There's another light somewhere that we're gonna set up in a minute there. So we're gonna have enough light. That's where the boiler's going. So gas is already running in 22, which is great. Everything's there. We've got lever valve on the cold already, so we haven't got to turn the water off to the whole property. Condense is running in turn as well, so that'll be sweet to latch on to. Hopefully, it should be, I'm not going to jinx it, but it should be a good day. Power flush machine is currently heating up. Bathroom's just there, so I've got that heating up, ready to go in a moment. And by the time we get the boiler off the wall, then we should be ready to get the power flush machine on. And then uh, start flushing, get the new boiler on, pipe up the hot, cold and gas, and then finish up with the flow and returns. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. Got the tripod light set up. Need to plug the fan in, do that in a minute. But yes, you can see how much work I've done. You guys have probably seen this on some of my other videos. So it's a diverter, pressure sensor, AAV, PCB clips, flu screws, and a pump. And the reason why I'm changing the boiler today is because the system is clogged up. This is, this boiler is from, uh 2008 it's had its time and the hot water was getting all clogged up and i did not want to risk changing the flow and return on these or removing that to get to the canoe filter because we know what happens the heat exchanger is probably going to get cracked then it's going to be a whole new palaver so i came here about a week ago basically gave them the option i can try it but these are the risks would you want to do and they said you know what it's an old boiler we've thrown a lot of money at it Let's just bite the bullet and go for a new one. So that's why we're here to change the boiler over today. 
already got hive there, a few spares there, like I said, contents are already here and everything. And flu, blah, 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 blah. That's off. Boiler's been drained out. We're ready to go. Let's get this off. Let's get the new one on. The beauty of these extended hoses, such a lifesaver for jobs like this where boilers up in the loft, that's all just connected down there. It's already starting to show a bit of dirt in the system and the radiators here are old. The boiler was from 2008. I don't think it's been power flushed before, so I think we're in for a dirty system. Let's see. We are going to now get the new boiler on the wall and then start doing hot, cold and gas. Now the weird thing here is the actual wall itself. It's like tiles, but I'll try and, try and show you. See, see how it is? So it's like tiled bricks, I don't know. Never come across this before. But the old boiler was on solid. So new boiler should, should go on nice as well, I hope. <laughs> I don't want it falling down. I did bring extra long screws to see if I could get through it, but I don't think, well, I haven't got anything that's gonna be long enough to go all the way through and into there. So I am gonna to have to rely on these tile bricks. I don't know, I've never come across them before. So if you have, drop a comment below, let me know what they are. Because yeah, like I said, I've not come across them. Now I'm gonna pop the camera back down Going to bring up the template for the new boiler, cut all that back. Let's set you guys up on a time lapse and then, yeah, we'll just uh, start making some progress. Right, brackets on, and yeah, we had a bit of a tough time trying to get good fixes on it, but there's good fixings on there now. I know to the eye that doesn't look level, but that is level, the spirit level somewhere there. So that is level. Boiler is up, made up all the valves on it. Now I'm going to get that on there first and then we will sort the flue out and then start piping. Okay. Alright, let's give this a whirl. It'll be alright. Let's not drop the boiler. Right. Let's go. Right, you just grab the uh, polystyrene. Go on, go for it. Right. Ah. 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 One second, you grab from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that's on. Right, we need to shimmy it over a touch. Me? There, that's it, yeah. That centre screw is right there. Cool. That's on. Level. She's bang level. Lovely. That can probably just got a bit like that, but that's fine. Cool, right, let's get the flu on and then start piping on the inside because we are nearly ready to start isolating. It's caught to 12. So we've got about 15 minutes left for the full circulation. Then we start doing each rad one by one. So let's get the flu done and then we can start doing that. Flu is done. Josh is just uh, sealing it on the outside and then we seal it in on the inside. That can wait. But now it's getting very hot now. It's coming up to half 12. It's getting progressively hotter. The fan is now just pretty much circulating hot air around, but at least it's something rather than just absolutely stuffy. Okay, let's sort my knee pads out. Now I'm gonna undo all those clips and basically just start piping down. So set my clips up first. Uh, I'm just gonna start with the cold because it's the first one there. The return I can do after, that's not a problem. So I'm gonna start with the cold, get the gas done. Actually, do you know what? I just remembered PRV is probably the first one I want to do. Well, I can do the, as long as I do the PRV before I do the hot and the gas, I should be all right. So at least let me get the cold done and then I can sort out the PRV, see what I want to do with it. I was thinking of running it straight into there with the condense. I'm not sure. 
I'm not entirely sure. I don't. Oh, I can use the old PRV hole there as well. Uh, okay, let me just get the coal done first and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with the PRV because I do need to get the PRV done before I do the flow. Sorry, before I do the hot and the gas. Okay, cool. Hot, cold and gas are all done. Let's turn the cold on from here. Okay, so far so good. Right now, let's turn it on from here. Right, that's sounding good. No leaks at the moment. I think Josh has got a tap open downstairs. You can hear the water running. We all good? Sweet. Right, hot cold gas is done. Power flush has finished doing all the circulation for each of the rads. So now we're going to start dumping. Uh, Josh just wanted me to get the hot done because he's filling it through the shower. So because it's mixer shower in case there's back feed through the hot. That's done. Now, whilst Josh is dumping, I'll crack on with the wiring, the PRV and the condense. And now let's take that battery's dead. Now, what I'm thinking with the return, I'm going to stick MagnaClean directly onto there. And then from here, straight elbow, straight out, down into MagnaClean. And then the flow there, I will probably maybe cut it down there and then bring another new bit of pipe up to there. Obviously, I've just got to make sure I get around that joist. I mean, there is space there, so I should be okay. As long as I'll probably try and do a pulled bend rather than a fitting there. We try and get that done there but yeah gas is all sweet i brought that up in 22 as close as i could and then reduce it to 15 underneath the boiler and we've got a nice test point on there as well cool right so i'm now going to crack on with the i don't know what i'm going to do first prv yeah let's get the prv done so prv i'm gonna bring i know i said i'd do the prv first but it's okay because the flow is not connected so i can undo that drop that connection out i'm gonna bring an elbow down and probably because that's going to go over that way i'm probably going to bring that down maybe about there because you know, i ideally i want to literally bring it there sneak it over and into there but then that's going to get in the way of there so i'll probably have to come down 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 <laughs> out like that because i was thinking of putting it into the trap but i think it would just be easier to just go straight back out the hole that was in originally all right let's do that Oh, that sounds like power flush is done. All right, that's good news because I'm done as far as I could as well until the power flush was done. 
So yeah, here we go. Obviously hot cold gas is done, PRV's done, wiring's done, the condenser's done. Now the condenser is the only thing I'm not keen on with the ECAs. It's just because it comes with this hose and there's no real way of making it look neat. But yeah, managed to, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to, but that's literally the best I'm going to be able to do. At least that there's a bit rigid and it's got a fall on it as well. So that should be okay. Now we're going to disconnect the power flush machine. Once that's all done, I'm literally going to bring the return street elbow out there, bang into there, flow, bring that down, connect onto there. Then just got to seal the flue on the inside and commission. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, they already had a hive here, so that's already connected. Yeah, I think we, it sounds like really, oh, is that all that's left to do? Because normally there's like loads to do, but it's worked out quite well where we've got the flush and straight away, we've got the other bits now, now it's literally just connecting up the two bits of pipe and then we're done. Let's crack on, let's clean up the power flush machine, see how dirty the magnets are. I'll bring you guys downstairs, we'll see how dirty they are. Give that a clean up, tidy up the power flush machine and get the last two connections done. All right, let's see how bad this system was. Oh man, my knees. Ugh. The problem with these knee pads is when you're wearing shorts, bloody straps cut into the back of your leg as well. Oh, okay. All right, let's isolate that. Let's isolate that. Oh, not too bad. It's, I thought it was going to be worse, to be fair. Still a fair bit of dirt on there, but... Yeah, I did think it was going to be more than that. Right. Cool. I'm going to take these downstairs and clean them off because I don't want to get any sludge on the carpet accidentally. But yeah, I'm going to get this tidied up, get the power flush packed away, get all of that out of here, and then just get the last two connections done upstairs. So a job like this is a perfect example of where Powered Now comes into its own as a job management software app. This quote was all set up in the app, sent across to the customer, which they accepted. So it means that all the details are already loaded on the app. And once the job's done, I haven't got to worry about going home and doing any paperwork. Literally click one button on the app, converts that quote into an invoice, and then it gets sent across to the customer. Just means that after a long laborious day like this, you don't want to be worrying about doing paperwork when you get home. Give it a go yourself. I'll put a link in the description. You get a 14 day free trial. It might just help you out. Right, and we're done. Just uh, commissioning it, 20 millibar working pressure at the gas test point there, which is spot on. Just waiting for the readings to settle down and then uh, get the commissioning all tidied up and finished up, benchmark done, done the lagging as best as I could as well. And yeah, it's, uh, it's all working good. The time is half six and I would consider that a pretty good day because nothing's gone wrong, everything's gone to plan. I love getting into a job and getting the power flush on straight away because that can make or break the timing because if the system's dirty and like for when I uh, when you saw the one that I did for the backseat 836 we I did the boiler first and then the power flush afterwards and you saw how long that took it took like I think almost four or five hours afterwards because it was quite a dirty system so this one literally got the power flush on straight away and then started piping up and yeah everything just sort of fell into place didn't, have, didn't really have any other problems with fixings on there. Uh, wiring's done, condenser's done. I know, like, condens, that's the best I could do with it. Unfortunately, it's how it comes. But other than that, we are looking good. That's all settling down now. So I'm going to take a photo of that and then fill out the benchmark. And then we're going to be out of here. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Obviously, I'm starting to get a bit more involved with the installation videos by putting time lapses on. Uh, when I'm fitting the boiler and doing the pipe work and stuff. So let me know if you enjoyed this style of content and I will carry on when I do get installs. And obviously once silly season comes, there's going to be more breakdowns coming through. But at the moment, I'm getting a few installs in. So it's getting done and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. It's been a hot day. We've been stuck in the loft. I really appreciate that one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.